Riddle me this. What is better than one stage used slipknot mask? The answer is pretty obvious, right? Two stage used slipknot masks. So what would be better than two stage used slipknot masks? I think you guys see where this is going. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day, and I know what you're thinking. Here we go again, 2022. It's the year of the House of Masks. We get it, AJ. How could you possibly outdo yourself at this point? Well, kind of like this. Yep, that's right. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. So somehow this has taken me almost a month to make a video on because I actually got this in a combined deal along with my first real stage used slipknot mask. Flashback. I smuggled this. Stage used slipknot mask. Finally, after 23 years, and now we finally have one in the collection. And now I can kill myself. Let's go. You might be buying the slaughterhouse one, he said? Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna leave them both here. Okay, because we'll I've got that one here yeah. as well. Oh. <laughs> this is thick as shit. I wouldn't even try to do I, that. I don't know how the fuck you got This yeah. time is like, he was a fat dude, but like, I don't know how the fuck you got yeah. I mean, I'll probably be. See, I think this one's cool. I think this one's cool. It does. looks like fucking crowns. Yeah. That's what I said, it's crown. Literally. Weird fucking mask. Really fucking weird. I like this as well. Like what? Yeah. What the fuck is that? It's just weird, man. Yeah, weird. I don't know shit. where he gets it from, but it just it works. We got a stage use slipknot mask, ladies and gentlemen. No. Now, leave me alone. <laughs> go, go, go now. End of flashback. Which, by the way, never in my life would I have imagined that I would be so busy in the best ways possible that I would have to wait an entire month to get a video out on a mask of this level. So hell yeah, that's rad. Regardless, we've got it here now. Again, a deal that kind of came out of the blue, and it was originally for this piece, which wasn't really a stage use Slipknot mask. Although, at the time that I had the deal worked out, it was only used by Sean's son on stage, not by Sean himself. There is a clip at the end of a show where Sean is giving Simon some sticks to throw out to the crowd, and Simon is wearing this exact mask. At the same time, we also knew that it was worn by Sean in a promo video, so you could technically say that it was Sean used and promo used and stage used, just not used on stage by Sean, so it was a bit of a confusing mask. But when I knew that I was going to be making a video on this thing soon, I started doing a deep dive on the internet, just doing as much research as I possibly could to figure out if this was or was not stage used so that I could either confirm or deny in this video. And I'm going to be honest, I think I found something today. I am 99.9% .9 sure that this is now another stage used Sean Crayon Slipknot mask in my collection based on this photo. Now, this is the only photo of it being used by Sean that I can find, so hear me out. You'll notice in the photo that there is a safety pin in the exact same spot that there's a safety pin on my mask. You will also notice that there is a safety pin right here on the cheek. My mask clearly does not have that safety pin. However, in the exact same spots where there was a safety pin in that photo, there are two very weathered paint chipped areas where, I don't know, maybe a safety pin would be. So I went inside of the mask. There are two very, very microscopic holes in the latex in those exact same spots. Now. The hair is also slightly different, but extremely similar. It's obviously under stage lights in this photo, but it looks like it's in the same exact spot. It just looks like some hair has been removed. So my best guess is knowing that this mask was on tour since we see Simon wearing it during a show is that Clown did use this on stage for a concert and then later changed it before shooting the Slaughterhouse promo video. It is absolutely the mask that we see Simon wearing at the end of that show when he's throwing sticks out with 
his dad, and it is absolutely the mask that we see in the Slaughterhouse promo. And I cannot confirm 100% that this is the mask in this photo, but what I can say is that screen matching and using context clues, I would be willing to bet a pretty penny that it is. My best guess is that Clown needed a mask for that promo video, and he just snagged one out of his lineup, maybe made a few slight changes to it, such as removing that safety pin, maybe cutting some of the hair, and even adding or taking away some paint that was seen on the stage version. He did change a couple copies of these masks from time to time while recycling them. He didn't use a different one every single time, contrary to popular belief. So that's my best guess. I'm gonna go ahead and just say that this is plausible. I will call this a potentially stage used mask, but regardless of if it is stage used or not, it is still very, very special. It is a stage used Slipknot mask, it just might not be a stage used Sean Crayon mask, even though it belonged to Sean Crayon. Man, I bet a non-mask collector or a non-Slipknot fan would listen to this and think that we were insane. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Slaughterhouse promo video used, used by Simon Crayon with Sean Crayon on a Slipknot stage, and potentially stage used. Here we have my Slaughterhouse promo, Sean Crayon 0.5 The Gray Chapter Mask. Another real deal piece for my collection, and again, I can't believe it took this long to make a video on it, but that's definitely not a bad thing. We have just been going hard in the motherfucking paint lately, and I really, really think that it shows, and I hope that you guys are enjoying it. So, that is pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to make a quick video explaining this mask, showing it off a little bit, and letting you you guys know what's up. We gotta document it. That's what this is all about. Now, real quick, we've spent the entirety of this video so far talking about what this mask is and what this mask could possibly be, and we haven't talked about the look of the piece at all. Now, personally, out of the two masks that I got in that deal, I've gotta say that aesthetically, this one is my favorite. In fact, if it weren't for this one being stage used, I probably would have passed on this and just purchased this one, but I figured since this one is stage used, we had to do it and I got a combined deal on both of them, so I figured why not. Originally, I was just supposed to buy this one. The other one didn't get brought up until about a day later, and all I did was upgrade to that one for a slightly higher price, and then I figured, you know what, I might as well buy both of these. I'm gonna regret it if I don't, and now we have both of them. Regardless, this one is definitely my favorite looking out of the two. In fact, the only thing that I really don't like about this mask is the use of the safety pins. I just, I don't think that those look cool. I think that they're pretty lame very boring and basic and generic looking, just not very creative at all. Aside from the safety pin, I think that this mask is pretty cool. It's definitely got a very strange paint job on it. In fact, the detailed areas of this mask, like the yellow around the eyes, which is very strange by the way, the red on the nose and some of the black smears on the face make me think of crayon wax, like this thing was just drawn on with crayons. I don't know if that is the case, but it definitely has a thick waxy look to it. Another thing that I find quite interesting about this piece is this weird symbol on the side of the head there that's been painted on. Very, very strange looking, but definitely the meanest out of the two copies, especially when worn, which I will show you at the end of the video with those hero shots. The hair is whatever. I mean, it's there, nothing crazy. And from what I can tell, this mask was done up with one of the white casts. Another thing that's really, really crazy about this piece is the thickness. This is one of the thickest masks I think I own. Definitely far, far more thick than any of the other real .5 clowns that I have, and I think that that's why this one has a slit in the back and the others don't, because Clown definitely wasn't getting this on his noggin without putting this slit up the back. Hopefully, you can see there between my fingers just how thick this mask is. It is insanely thick. Some might even say it's thick with two C's. So yeah, now that I think we've covered just about everything that there is to cover, there is nothing left to do but to show this piece off in great detail. So as always, I'm gonna leave you guys with some nice up close shots of this piece to let you guys see all of the beautiful, beautiful character that this thing has, and that will be that for today's video. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up down below. It definitely helps the channel. And until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to stage used clowns. And we'll see you guys in the next one.